Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you as to how we could go ahead and crack the Windows password uh, from the secure accounts manager that is from the SAM database. So uh, what I would do is I would first go ahead and gain access to the victim's PC and after that I would actually go ahead and uh, try to crack his password to so the next time onwards. I won't actually have to go ahead and uh, let's say I won't actually have to gain access to his computer since I would be already having the username and the password. So let's start with the Windows 7 computer and I'll just put and enter my details. my password but it started and I'll just go and for the time being I'll just disable my defender and go back over here so for I'll first open my toolkit and I'll select one because I would be doing a social engineering attack I would be going out and creating a payload and sending it to my victim I'll select 4 and over here I'll need to go to insert my IP address so I'll just type my config so this is my IP address I'll just copy it and paste it over here I'm using a reverse TCP connection so I'll use 2 and I'll hit enter I'll be using a backdoor executable so that I can gain access anytime so I'll select 4 and I'll hit enter the port would be 443 you can use any one any one which you want but i would normally reckon 443 only and just let this start by the time this starts i'll just go ahead and i believe it's in user share set my file will be created over here i believe yep my file is created i'll go ahead and start the listener and I'll just go ahead and copy this file and paste it over here. Okay. Perfect. And I'll just and I'll just copy it and paste it over here. And let's see if my metasploit is started I'll just go ahead and I'll just go ahead and send this to the person and uh, do something so that he actually goes ahead and starts it and I have my session open sessions is L. and what it did, did uh, in short is that I actually checked how many sessions are open only one so I use the ID one I means ID uh, so when to go ahead and access that and now I'll just go ahead and check all the PIDs that uh, were there so that I could go ahead and see exactly uh, which uh, things are available so I'll just go ahead and type help I'll just go ahead and expand this so we would be I would be dumping the hash database as you can see I have the option over here but before that I will just go ahead and migrate myself to something else Let's see if I could do that without actually gaining access to the root system. So let me check. Uh, as no, uh, let me check what would be. I believe it's PS. Yep, PS it is. And Windows Explorer dot exe. Uh, the ID is two three seven six, I believe. Yep. So I'll just type migrate two three seven six. Two, three, seven, six, right? Yeah, perfect. Migrated successfully, and now I'll go ahead and delete my payload from over here. Perfect, and my session should still be running. Perfect. Let's check. Perfect, everything is working. So now I need to go ahead and dump uh, this uh, Windows 7 dump file. So uh, let me just go ahead and check. I'll just type H A S H D U M P. Let's see what happens. Okay. Privileges password get SAM hashes. The parameter is incorrect. So I believe that I would need to go ahead and uh, let's say 
I would need to uh, gain access to the system that is the uh, not the uh, administrator the system access to go ahead and do that so I'll first go ahead and gain access to my system so I'll just go ahead and try to use my another method which would be run post uh, windows gather has done let's see if that works okay so I'll need to go ahead and gather get the system access before I could do that so let's go ahead and get the system access now so in order for us to do that I'll first check whether I can go ahead and get access to system so I'll just first type get UID okay get UID okay, I'll just go ahead and check UID I believe okay I have the system access let's start to get if I could get access to system okay I won't the reason being that I have user account control enabled over here so now I'll need to go ahead and bypass the user account control so I'll just go ahead and type it over here use proofs and use proof I believe it's been already loaded so I have my alternate one we run post windows gather wins pro and let's see what happens okay so I only have these privileges right now and now I'll just go ahead and background this session for the time being the reason because I need to go ahead and bypass that and I'll go ahead and try to search everything related to UAC let's see what I think or all the things that we get so we have all of these things so we would be going ahead and using the exploit uh, bypass UAC so I'll just go ahead and copy and I'll just type use okay paste and okay perfect now I need to go ahead and set the remote host and the local host but before I go ahead and proceed I need to go ahead and set the exploit so under bypass UAC so I'll need to go ahead and set the windows reverse TCP because I would be I'm using the current interpreter session right now so I'll use uh, set payload windows interpreter reverse TCP and I'll hit enter and now I'll go ahead and set uh, the local host to my IP address which would be this and I'll go ahead and set the L port local port would be let's say for example 8080 and I'll go ahead and set the session 1 and I'll go ahead and try to exploit let's see what happens Okay, PI yeah, is not. Yep, yeah, perfect. It is done, I believe. Let's check. Uh, 